every family was expecting something those time. Our ears were open and our eyes were alert. All of us, our mind was alert to think uh, maybe the rocket is coming. There's gunshots, missiles, anything. We had many, many nights, me and Bashir and kids. Mujda was a baby. We had to put the pillows behind the wall and stay away from the window and be on the floor. And uh, because it was shooting, you know, the whole night. We were getting hopeless. I have no choice to leave and to leave my family behind and take my kids and run. And then when it's getting peace, I'm going back. I had no idea of uh, traveling. I knew, like, um, United States, I heard about Canada, I heard about Europe, but I never had any idea of, of I'm going to end up coming to Canada. It was beautiful to be here. It was really good service, good hospitality, but I got really depressed. It was very hard. I'm way too far from my family now. I was, I was just a, in the middle of um, getting confused. What, what to do? Should I stay here or should I go back? And I was, I was crying even even I wasn't talking. And then my husband uh, he said, where you're going? You don't have your country. You can't go back to your own country. Because he left because they would capture him. It was a very, very tough decision. I had to just think a little bit more deep and to say, well, okay, I'm staying. I'm not going. And from that moment, I made up my mind, now it's my turn to get up or to be independent. Get up and do something. Hello, hello. Hi. Sorry? Thanks, you have to wait a little bit. You have to wait. Working with people in the salon, coming for their hair, I'm enjoying so much. I can't wait until the next day. I have to go and meet my client. I have to go start my work and make money. Um, you can't believe it if you come and see my client, how much they are supportive. I don't think I have even 1% my own community clientele. Uh, to say it from 100, not even 1% is, is Afghani. All Caucasian, all different nationality. Whatever mood you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also trivially. Each of them, they sit in that chair. To me, they are one book. They have, they have knowledge in their life they share with me. They are keeping up with my stories, with my lifestyle. They keep up with my dramas. Oh yeah, they love to hear those dramas. We have a lot of drama in our life, actually. I think I should say it was a little bit extreme for my community Afghans to raise my daughter to be a strong woman and not to be traditional and conservative. Especially when I sent her to music, I had to hide for at least good two years when she's taking music lessons. We bought her a keyboard, me and her dad. When I was having my visitors from my own community Afghans, I had to hide that and any evidence of those things from her room. And the reason I was hiding it because I was afraid they are going to discourage her. I had to stand up right in front of my daughter to say, just with a strong attitude, not to allow them to discourage my, you know, my daughter as a young female. People in the community, they don't support that. As soon as her first song on the internet, she got 80,000 hit because she was the first 
Afghan girl to be out uh, as a professional singer. Basically, in this poem or lyrics, it reminds men, all men in Afghanistan, pay attention. We are not just a woman. We have been involved in the history of your country. I, I organized Mujda's concert first time in Vancouver and I just uh, advertised it through to my salon, through to my client. I couldn't believe it, like how much I got support. Each of them, they brought people. They advertised it. They brought family. When I had one of them, they had a Caucasian client. They brought five of their family. I had one East Indian friend. They brought 20 of them. It was amazing. There was no seat left. People were standing. It was, it was beautiful. As many as people are not supportive from my own community, Afghans, there is some people are supportive. When I'm going to the concerts or any event, those young girls coming to me and they surround me and they say, please tell Mujda to keep going. Please tell Mujda not to listen to the negative or people, they are trying to discourage her. Please tell her, tell Mujda to go ahead because she's opening the door for all these girls. Yeah,